Michael Douglas freaking everyone out by claiming that he got throat cancer from his expert oral sex skills. Is he for serious? <laughs> Hey folks, I'm Lacey Green and this is D News. Literally within like 20 minutes of the news that Michael Douglas blamed his throat cancer on oral sex, my Twitter timeline blew up. Half the people were like, oh man, I'm never giving oral sex again. The other half, folks I follow who also do sex ed, were like, no, 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 just wait one second. Is it true that oral sex can cause throat cancer? Yes, it is true, it is very true. HPV or human papillomavirus is the virus that causes warts and it's transmitted just by touching. Now there are over 100 strains of this guy. Some of those strains pop up on your fingers, some on your toes, some on your genitals, some on your cervix, and some in your throat. The last two can sometimes cause cancer. About 90% of the population will carry some strain of HPV at some point in their life, but you probably won't know it because most people don't showcase any warts. And while the virus is highly contagious with no cure, it's generally not dangerous. Most cases, they go away on their own within one to two years. Back to Mr. Douglas's oral sex-induced throat cancer. According to the CDC, HPV is responsible for 5,600 new cases of throat and neck cancer in men every year. Still, they're saying, nobody panic. It's a less malicious form of cancer with a 90% survival rate, making HPV throat cancer much less of a worry than something like, say, HIV, which 50,000 people contract every year. Since the interview, Michael Douglas and his rep have been trying to backpedal and claim that's not what he said. He didn't say his throat cancer was caused by oral sex, just that throat cancer can be caused by oral sex, except it's caught on audio, so. There's that. Michael Douglas is also a notorious smoker and drinker, which are statistically much more likely to be the cause of serious throat cancer, and a case of HPV will just make things worse. So it's a little deceptive for him to blame it all on oral sex. So if you're freaking out, the solution is very simple. Get vaccinated. We have a vaccine safe for 26 year olds and under that prevents this crap. It's silly that only 40% of that group has been vaccinated. The CDC recommends that girls and boys get their vaccines between the ages of 9 and 12 to protect them before they're ever exposed. It could save their life or someone else's life. Also, always practice safer sex. If you don't use condoms, you put yourself at a really high risk. If you swallow semen because Anthony told you it was nutritious, <clears throat> your risk is also much greater. Of course, the third way to protect yourself is to get tested regularly. Make sure your partners are getting tested too. It takes like 10 minutes, pee in a cup, swab the cheek, a very romantic date. So let me know what you guys think about this Michael Douglas business down below. And while you're at it, throw us a like on Facebook and I'll see you next time with more D News.